Let's just fire off into it. Okay. Unleash all 800 horsepower of the Baldwin Trophy Truck at the shipwrecks. So, uh, if this is the... the thing that I think it is... Yep, ultimate air skills. Ultimate air skills. I think they have to jumps like three seconds. I would have much more, more pressure doing it. Shorter time to strain. That's what I'm talking about. Should bring in one or two fans in. Seven or so thousand. Ready to open a new festival. Now, I abs now I'm absolutely certain where how I want this festival. 63 championships to complete. 2% progress to final showcase. <laughs> God, Onwards man. and upwards, boss. I've got a short list of locations for site number three. Just look at the map and point. I'll do the rest. The Outback. Natural habitat of kangaroos and reptiles and all-wheel drive. Or the Yarra Valley. Australian wine country. Perfect if you want the blur outside your window to be a lovely green. Well, people who like drag races because they're quick. So... And the drag strip is in the outback, so might as well do it out there. Check out our new festival location when you're ready. No rush. This is Australia. The outback isn't going anywhere. Jesus, that's far. Oh. So I'll cut to uh to what can I pull to a new car out which I think would be handy for Right to the outback.
Why do innocent cars hate me? So, I'm not at the outback just yet. I'm at Surfer's Paradise because. Because if I'm going to get there, I probably want to do it rather quick. So, let's grab, let's grab the Huracan. Now, as fortune would have it... Oh yeah, the the festival site is right up close to this here barn. Maserati Ghibli. And then a Fiat 500, a Bath. Which I just wear it. This feels good. This feels really good. Yeah. Two hundred and two, two hundred four miles an hour.
it's such a big place value. Apparently, yes, I was online at some point. Guys online. Let's build an Outback Festival to keep the to keep the to keep those mentalists who care only for. There it is, Horizon Outback. It's like 50 degrees in the shade, and these people are still having the time of their lives. Whatever you're doing out there, keep doing it. With pleasure. I checked out the new festival site. Looks spectacular. You know what would go really well with all those tents and streamers? One of these. Oh, oh my god, Daddy likes pretty much all of them, but doesn't know which one to go for. Should I go for the the, the pen hall that I use for the for the cargo bob race? Should I go for the should I go for the alumni? Or should I go for the air? I like the aerial nomad far more. Oh. Why are all the buggies rear wheel drive? I, I thought they. I thought they all look. I thought what they would all be all. I thought that. I thought they would be all wheel drive. go traditional aerial colors now that is looking good there's nothing to explode as expected <laughs> rear bumper turbo rally engine a six, a 1.6 liter straight four. You know, I think I'm. Need the aerial nomad? Oh, I, sh I probably do for the off road buggies class. Should pro I should probably get rid of weight by reducing the thing in the drive line, increasing shift time, clutch. That should balance out the added weight. Should balance out. Let's just maintain the balance and exceed and exceed it in, in more to my to my favor with those performance bits. So that's it for the Nomad. So, now let's get out the Warthog. I definitely want to add that to, to my favorites. We only just got here and the location scouts are already reporting points of interest. They're certainly intrepid. I didn't tell them about the snakes. the changing radio stations if there's nothing on boss just let me go and sign you a new one future classic radio 
dance music courtesy of our Australian hosts. I'll sign the deal. Future classic. And time was so Boss, you have got to listen to this. I found a local classical station called Timeless FM. It's community radio, so they're lovely and they can really use the sponsorship, but their production is less than slick. Also, I doubt their host has ever driven faster than 40 in his life. Check them out. Well, that's it. That's all the radio stations sign. And, uh... Probably need a rally car to do that. But anyways. I have to find the bomb. Oh. Okay, so. You know what it sounds like? Ultimate car Motorized Green The Rally is a drag strip Probably want to finish up Up this episode of the drag strip Those are familiar with Warthog music. Except we don't have Warthog music. up, Audi R8 V10 Plus, potentially, yes! Okay, now, first off, skills. Instant rewards. Magazine spot. Look at hero. And push your luck. Now, Ferrari, California. Okay, collect prize, spin again. Then a regular wheel spin. Oh, give me an elite! Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Okay, grind mode. I'm guessing, mate. A drone could potentially be standard issue for the newer warthogs. 
A farmhouse in the middle of nowhere. It actually signs, sounds kind of ideal for me. I won't say why though. Four hundred and eighty-eight roads to discover. Here's the barn. Pull up in a warthog and... Okay, time to open her up. Oh my god, is that what I think it is? 69 Dodge Charger Daytona. Look at the size of that wing. This is a custom NASCAR racer. What's it doing all the way out here? You know, that's what I, I'd like to know. I could definitely find some use for that. I'll get the charger back to the shop. See if I can get it fixed up and maybe find out how it wandered so far from home in the first place. Um, well, that was solid. Now, there's a, tr there's a train. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Forza Horizon 3. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, share the videos, and my comment in the comments what you thought. Thank you, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, see you guys next time. Peace.